Now, if there's one thing that we can all agree on, then that is the fact that Riot actually never fails to produce skins. Whether it's for Valorant or League of Legends, we always get sick looking skins throughout the entire year. And yes, some of them are quite pricey, but if we talk about design and everything about just how the skins look, Riot is always top tier when it comes to that. And in this year alone, we got 18 featured collections that dropped in Valorant. And that's not even counting the Battle Pass skins or the other separate skins that always appear here in your lower row like the rush skins for example or the um what are they called the galleria skins and stuff like that so 18 featured collections three battle pass collections and then all the other skins that are not sold as collections and that's just a insane amount of skins so in this video i'm gonna break down my top five weapon skins out of all of the skins that drop. It doesn't include knives as I just made a video about my favorite knives. If you want to check that out, I'm going to link it down below. But yeah, this video is just about weapon skins. And as always, guys, if you like the content, make sure to subscribe down below. And yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. All right, so let's start with the fifth place. And this one just has to be the glitch pop bulldog for me now the glitch pop collection was released with the second act and i think the glitch pop collection is one of the best skin collections that we have in game with one huge problem and the biggest problem with the glitch pop collection is in my opinion that it doesn't have a vandal it doesn't have a phantom or an operator the most used guns are not existing with the glitch pop bundle which makes it a huge disappointment for so many people because i'm pretty sure that way more people would actually buy this collection if it would contain a phantom a vandal or an operator as i said but unfortunately it doesn't which is the reason why in my opinion this isn't the best skin collection in the game if it had one of the main guns i think this would have been the collection of 2020 but unfortunately it isn't however i'm a huge fan of the bulldog and i love to play that gun which is the reason i just have to put this on my fifth place because i still love the aesthetic of the glitch pop skins even though they don't have one of the main weapons now jumping onto the fourth place i have a skin that not everyone is going to agree with but i am just in love with the iron sheriff i think Visually, it just looks beautiful. Might be because I just like the colorway that it has. It's not for everyone because it only comes in one colorway. But the way it does come, I think it just looks clean. I'm someone that just loves clean skins that look futuristic. So the Iron Sheriff has to be the fourth place for me. It just looks so nice and it also feels nice which is very important to me when i'm playing because i think that if a gun in this game gives you a satisfying feel then i really think it helps improving your gameplay so yeah i would put the iron sheriff on my fourth place in this list and now let's jump onto the third place and for me personally the third place has to be the Elder Flame Operator. Now, the Elder Flame collection was a pretty controversial collection in Valorant when it first released. I think it has a pretty hefty price, but just talking about the visuals and animations and all that stuff that they added to the guns, I think they look beautiful. And out of the five skins that are in the Elder Flame collection, I personally think the Elder Flame Operator is the best looking one. I love the way it sounds, I love the way it looks, and I just love the animation when you pull out that gun. So overall, everything about this skin is just perfect for me personally, and that's why the Elder Flame Operator is the third place for me. Now the second place on my list for the best skins in 2020 is the Singularity Phantom. And the Singularity Phantom is on the second place for multiple reasons. First of all, obviously it just looks awesome. The whole Singularity collection just looks awesome especially the phantom it has a nice reload animation a custom reload animation it's not the default one it has nice colorways it feels satisfying while playing and overall it is just a nice looking skin and another reason why i feel like this is one of the best skins to come out this year is that this is the first real good phantom skin after we got the oni 
and there is such a huge time in between those skins where we never got to see a nice looking phantom skin i don't know if you guys remember all the time where riot just kept releasing vandal skins and never actually released a nice looking phantom skin after they released the only one and this was the first nice phantom skin in addition to the only skin and people just loved it they loved everything about the skin and i also loved everything about this phantom skin so this is the main reason why i think that the singularity phantom has to be on the second place and now for the first place guys i think this one is pretty obvious it is the prime vandal i don't even need to say too much about it you guys know it already i talk about it all the time the prime vandal just feels like an aimbot to me personally i know for many of you guys that you have the same feeling when playing the prime vandal it has a nice reload animation it has nice visuals the entire prime collection is just awesome it was the first collection to release with the full version of valorant and in my opinion since then nothing but the reva vandal ever came close to what the prime vandal achieved in terms of looks and how the gun feels in game and i really do think that riot is gonna have a hard time creating a skin that really beats the prime vandal because the majority of the community loves the prime vandal it's pretty obvious most of the people are playing the prime vandal over any other skin and trying to create something that actually tops the prime vandal is going to be quite difficult i think but it is possible so that's why i'm also excited to see if we get to see something next year that actually makes me want to drop the prime vandal and play something else i'm honestly gonna say that this is very exciting for next year to see if they can actually achieve something better than the prime vandal something that can create the same hype as the prime vandal because I see people going crazy over it. If I have someone in my team that doesn't have a skin for the Vandal, they always want to use my Prime Vandal if I have one. As I said, the closest thing that ever came that could actually replace the Prime Vandal is the Reaver Vandal, but I feel like it really isn't just as good as the Prime Vandal is in terms of how the gun feels in game. So yeah, that's the main reason why the Prime Vandal is my favorite skin in 2020. As always guys, I hope you do like these videos. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite skins in 2020 are. Would be interested to see what you guys think. And yeah, if you like the content, make sure to subscribe and leave a like. And as always, guys, I see you on the next one.